Shalom family. Yo, I just wanted to come to you today. I just wanted to let you guys know nothing exaggerant. As you know, I don't do this for entertainment. But I wanted to give you guys a, a little message on or a little preview on what I'm going to be speaking on about this Sabbath day. I wanted to let you guys know that uh, first, all praise to the Most High, Yahuwah, through his son, Yahusha, the Messiah, the forever lasting uh, lamb that was sacrificed for us to redeem us, um, the, the Israelites, back into the, 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 the kingdom of the Most High, back into his grace, and to, uh, to be forgiven for our sins and also grafting in those Gentiles. All praise to the Most High for his mercy um, because his mercy endures forever. First, I wanted to let you guys know that uh, um, it's important that you begin to understand the fear of Yahuwah because if you understand the fear of Yahuwah, it's the beginning of knowledge. It's the beginning of understanding and wisdom. And if you read your word or your scripture, then you will begin to understand that um, it that's what's being spoken in the in the, the scriptures as well. So I encourage you guys to study to find out what the fear of Yah Yahuwah is. And uh, I encourage you guys to, to, to get yourself approved. Um, because this is when you really will begin to un understand what the Father is about and you begin to understand what deception is being being spread throughout today. Um, I, I am not here to judge people. I'm not here to uh, convict people. I'm only here to share this truth because the enemy don't want you to hear this truth. Your enemy does not want you to hear this truth. The, the, the enemy that uh, that is even probably your next door neighbor, they don't want you to hear this truth. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to share this truth because the Father loves you and because I love you. So I want you guys to to begin to, to get yourself familiar with, you know, what these traditions are that we've learned from. As it, as it tells you in Deuteronomy that because we disobeyed the father he he spread us among the heathens and he said if we basically don't follow his commandments and his statutes and his laws he's going he's going to wipe us clean he said there's going to be a very few as few of us left very few of us left and when he means that he means it so i want you guys to understand that if you really uh one care about your own life if you really um love yourself the way you you think you love yourself and if you say you love the father the way you the way you say by your mouth it's it's, it's very important that you do the acts of what he tell you how to love him and if you say you you fear the father then you will begin to understand and do the acts that he tells you um to perform as as fearing him and he'll tell you it's, it's just as simple Keep his commandments, keep the statutes, which is the customs, keep the ordinances, and uh, and keep the law. Get yourself understanding, get yourself wisdom, because he is coming back to destroy. He's coming back to destroy. I know the Father speaks to me, because many dreams have come true. I had people asking me, who told you this? Who told you that? What was their name? What's what? What's going on? And I, and when, when it come true, I'll be like, the Father told me, the Most High told me, Yahuwah told me. So I want you guys to understand that Yahuwah told me and he shared with me that many people today do not praise him. They do not love him the way that, that they say they love him. Because if you love him and if you fear him, you will do what? Keep the commandments, you will keep the laws, and you will keep the statutes. You will teach your children and your children's children. And 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 you will teach your strangers. Because now that Gentiles are grafted in, you know, 
it, it's important for all of us to understand the the love of the father the fear of the father we have to understand this thing and we got to come out that harlot woman we got to come out of that christianity church we got to come out of that sunday worship in church that sun worship church i know that may offend some of you guys but guess what it's okay salvation is for all of us salvation is for those that are willing to listen and willing to hear what the father has to say these words that i speak trust me they not of my own they from the father he just using me as a vessel to speak get yourself familiar with that old testament get yourself familiar because then you understand the new testament but get yourself familiar as well because you got to understand and not be naive that even the even the scriptures have been tampered with do you not think that satan will will not tamper the scriptures do you not think he has you wor worshiping stone and wood this is why many Christi Christian churches, we know what, what the other religions do, but this, Christianity itself got you worshiping the cross, which is made from wood or even iron or, or, or some of them sometimes in stone. Have you worshiping Mary? Have you worshiping Peter? Have you worshiping Paul? Have you worshiping all of these false idols? Even that white Jesus. And I don't even really want to get on the name Jesus because some people are so attached to that name that they can't see through the deception. But once you begin to understand that the 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 Messiah said, I come, I come in my father's name, the father's name is Yahuwah. And and the Messiah's name is Yahusha. Yah salvation. Yah is my salvation. Jesus does not mean that. Yah saves. Look up what Jesus means. It'll tell you about an earth pig. Did you know that J, the letter J, is is uh one of the most recent um in, uh recent new letters in the English? It's like no, it's no older than like 500 years old. Did you know that? Did you know around that same time that they introduced the letter J? That there's also a, a ship name out there, Jesus, a slave ship. Come on, guys. Come on, black people. I need you to wake up. You guys try to beat the white man down so much for for uh, uh, oppressing you, but you don't understand how the white man, or really Satan, not I ain't saying the the white, I ain't saying Satan is the white man, but what I'm telling you is, um, you haven't studied Satan. You haven't studied how he got you in this deception. Understand that understand that when the Most High said that he, he will scatter you among the nations, he has scattered us among the nations. And, he's, and it's true that we, we were worshiping other gods. We wasn't even worshiping him. We wasn't worshiping, worshiping the Almighty Yahuwah, the Creator. We wasn't worshiping him. We was worshiping Jesus. And I'm not going to lie to you. Every time, even today, although I know the Messiah is not a European white man, even today, when I think about the name Jesus, I think of a white man. I don't think about a black man, or I don't think about it. it and I, I'm not trying to really get color involved because it's not really about color. It's really it's about the spirituality. But again, color was used as a deception. You gotta you gotta follow me with this thing. So I need I need all my people. All the Gentiles, I need all the the Israelites to come out of this deception, cause it's important. Y'all gonna get this word, and y'all gonna get it today. And if it's up to you to listen, I'm not here to convince you, but I'm here to share this truth. I've studied this stuff. I've I've researched this stuff. I've asked the Father for guidance on this stuff. So come out of that stuff, man. Hey, what's going on? Bad, man. Thanks, have a good one, you too. Yeah, man, come out of this stuff, man. It's time to come out. All praise to the Father, Yahuwah, through his son, Yahusha. And I'm out.